Hello, and welcome to another episode of Talk Toys, the regular podcast series that I record at least twice a year. Uh, so today, as you can tell from the title, we are going through the sort of slightly viral variety anime checklist that's been going uh, around social media recently. I took a look at it and thought, oh, this would be fun to do with the guys. And then it's like, wait, hang on, this would make for prime YouTube content as well. So so that that's what we're doing. So as always, yeah. I'm joined by my three guests, Dan. Hello. Tim. Hello. And Tom. Hello. Uh, so it's fairly straightforward. We've all got this sheet in front of us on um, that very high tier uh, program we all downloaded called uh, Microsoft Paint. And we're just going to be filling in this checklist that should be on the screen right now. Unless I... Thank you, Wolfborg. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, a shout out to Wolfborg if you happen to be watching this. What what the fuck are you doing? There's there's better stuff on YouTube, man. Just just click off. Uh, right, but yeah, so it's fairly simple. There is one rule and one rule only, really, which is don't fall in love. <laughs> I oh. failed already. God damn. Oh. Uh, no, uh, the rule is that you have to have seen at least one season slash movie. Uh, of the entries here. So, as I mentioned to the guys just before we began, uh, I'm willing to be a little bit lenient if maybe you happen to watch most of a season but maybe didn't finish it. Uh, you know, we, we'll decide as a group, uh, but if you happen to have watched a couple episodes of Naruto on YouTube back when it was uploaded in three parts, it doesn't really count. Um, right, are we all ready to begin, fellas? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's begin at the top left, as uh, traditionally we do with lists in the uh, English-speaking world, and that is Dragon Ball. Now, I'm going to take this to mean Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Super. I'm assuming they don't mean OG Dragon Ball. Uh, so I am going to put a dot in my one. Uh, yes, I'm going to put cool. a dot in my one. I, I don't think I've ever like gone and watched like a series straight on but what I have done is watch the movie so I'm going to count it yeah I, I, I'll I, I'll accept that and I presume you've seen a fair few episodes between oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I, I probably have seen a full season I think but mm. like I can't really I can't really confirm that <laughs> shall we say I I, I've definitely seen a movie though so that would count yeah we'll give you it yeah yeah. I've not seen a single episode of Dragon Ball my whole entire life. <gasps> well, uh, Dan, right. I, you, you've seen some, right? Yeah, uh, I... Yeah. Also, for the sake of the viewers at home, um, I will be updating the tally that I've got on the screen of our four every 25 entries, which is every row of this. So play along at home if yeah. you want. I'm sure you can find this somewhere. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what you've got. Yeah, Tom, you have not... Have you experienced Snake Way? Yeah, I remember Snake Way. Yeah. Um, that, Any relation uh, to Gerard? I remember it, be, I remember it being very long. Yes. Uh, a long section of the series. It's, yeah. Uh, most of the Saiyan Saga, which is season most one. Most of the Saiyan Saga, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. There well, was a lot of like training in blank spaces and stuff like that what? in Dragon Ball. Surely not. <laughs> Yeah, um, they, they lock people in a room and say, "Hey, oh, the hyper, the hyperbolic time chamber." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's, yeah. Uh, so that's Margin Buu saga, but still, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I'd say you've seen enough to warrant your entry. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next up, Attack on Titan. I have seen the first season when it aired. I haven't watched any more. Uh, I, yeah. I hear it's it gets pretty good later on. Like. I think people are pretty hyped for the final season, but uh, I have seen season one as it aired. Yeah. So. I, I have say... seen season one, yes. I didn't watch any more because I didn't like it very much. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe it's one of those shows where you just got to, you I, know... I've it. heard from a few Sick people that after the first season, it's like, oh, yeah, that that was fine. And when it gets, like, season four or whatever, it's like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, like, a lot's happening. It's... um. The anime equivalent of Better Call Saul. Uh, well, I, well, I, you I, that comparison, but uh, no, it's, it's not. Well, uh, as in, like, it starts slow, but I think it gets better, uh, from from my I, understanding. I'm not going to put a tick on this, because I gave up, because in 
Erin is an insufferable chowood. That's uh, <laughs> he's he's def- he's definitely a bit of an edgy. Yeah. Insult. Jesus Christ. He's a bit of an edgy just, boy at the start, for sure. I just, yeah, I just gave up. I was like, I cannot deal with this character, and that was it for me. I forgot. I forgot how many episodes I got in. I got five or six or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're yeah, not going to allow that. Really. I'm afraid. Sorry. Uh, right, on to the next one. One I think Tom has seen, which is Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, I'm also presuming this includes Brotherhood as well. Uh, either way, I've seen both. So Good, because I've seen Brotherhood, but not the original. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think... I've briefly looked through this chart. I don't think they do the weird thing, which is like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball... Z. Like, they're not separate entries. I think it's any season in that series. Dan, Tim? No, I've not. No, never seen any Full Metal Alchemist. It's uh, it's it's good. I, I definitely, I highly recommend it. Uh, right, on to the next one. Something I also recommend, but I admit it is a long haul, which is Hunter x Hunter, which was my anime of the Oof. year 2021. Actually, I think it's Hunter x Hunter. Oh, actually, yeah, no, Tim is right. Uh, a fun <laughs> fact for everyone out there. So popular Squidward series, popular series like uh, Spy X Family or Hunter x Hunter or Kiss x Sis. Uh, is actually you don't pronounce the X. Oh, so. you're not getting monetized for this video now. You've mentioned wow. Kiss X. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've that, not seen Hunter Hunter. Uh, no. that, that that was my main concern, the monetization of this. So <laughs> got, I'm definitely not going to. Th- I'm not going to throw an errant fuck or a shit or a cunt anywhere in this oh. video. Um, <laughs> no, uh, Dan, I know you have briefly watched some, but I don't think you've watched enough for series one. I think. Uh, I think with Shonen, it tends to be, I think, a season is between 24 and 39 episodes. Mm. I know more modern Shonen is 24, but back in the day, like Naruto, Dragon Ball and stuff would be around 36, 39 episodes. So. Right, on to the next one, Death Note. Now, I want to say, all of us have this one, right? Definitely. Surely I... everyone here oh, has Oh, wait, yeah. Note. Yeah, if, especially if we're counting one season. Yeah. Surely, Dan, you've Wait, seen... Wait, what is one season of Death Note? Like, um, legit now, when does... Up the... until think... L drops his spoon, I think. Is, is that... Is that... Is that... I thought the whole thing was a season. Oh, okay, yeah, it might be. I, I was under the Moot impression. point for this one anyway. Come I, on, we've all seen Death Note. I have a feeling the second half of Death Note is technically season two. Um, Curious to look into this. Yeah. Uh, but... Are we counting the live action? I don't know if we can. It doesn't matter. We've all fucking seen it. I, yeah. I, uh, as Dan? Because I thought Dan only saw a few. Oh, How much of Death Note have you watched, Dan? I've watched it all. Right. Oh, okay. you've seen the film. No, yeah. yeah, no, that, that's oh, right. that's fine. The film... <laughs> the, the, the you... films are... Well, no, they're not, they're not, they're not they're, great. They're fine. The live action ones. But Except I mean, will change the world, but... which is the best film ever made. I am also going to be a stickler here. Uh, what is the ver- uh, what is your variety anime score? I think if you come to the live action Death Note things, that's not really anime. Yeah, anymore. no, we can't. We can't. I don't uh, think it's a moot point. It's a moot point. Yeah. Cool. I, I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, right, next one. Uh, I personally haven't watched it. Violet Evergarden. Yes. Ah, there we are. I've never Damn. even heard of it. What, what, it's what, on what, Netflix. What's... It's about... Have you seen... It's about that girl that plays violin, right, Dan? You can tell us more about her, actually. Yeah, no, it's about basically... Um, I don't want to give too much away, but basically it's like a, um, uh, this woman, but she's, like, like for combat and stuff, and she was, like, really good at it, and, almost, well, almost like, uh, so good at it, but then the war ends, basically, right? And basically it's like, all right, well... It's over now, and she's just sort of into a normal life now, and and she works at a post office kind of thing. But um, I've no, it is really good. It is really it yeah, it is, it's very comfy. Well, no, no, I won't get too much away, but it's worth watching cool. anyway. So okay. yeah, um, yeah, it it's it's been on my list for a while because it's it's been on Netflix, but I've yeah. just not got around to watching it. Right. Uh, next up is Monogatari, or anything in the Monogatari series. I'm very aware of the series, never watched it. Uh, I've seen I've clips seen, of it. I've seen season one, but it was a long time ago. 
So okay. I can't because um the series had named different things. Yeah, think, like Baki Monogatari. Yeah, and I've seen Monogatari, which ah, is cool. the first season, I think. Mm. Um so yeah, I did see all this, but cool. it was such a clusterfuck <laughs> that I Yeah, I I heard it was I feel it's a little bit impenetrable if you don't know much about Japanese culture, because sort of they make lots of in-depth references, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just um, it's like a set of like different stories about weird happenings. I'd say it's uh, it's almost if ghost stories was like actually legit and well, not a joke in the tub anyway. I, well, yeah, but, I was going to say technically yeah, in the sub. Yeah, and it's a good bit more grown up as well. Uh, nice. It's got lots of Ichi in it and whatnot. You know, yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. I know Mr. Oh. J List does post about it quite a lot. Uh, if you happen to watch in this and don't follow J List on mm. social media, I highly, re- highly recommend it. He is a man of refined taste. Uh, right, we're talking about refined taste. On to the next one Gundam. I've definitely watched that because I've seen Mobile Suit Gundam, Zeta Gundam. First season of Double Zero, Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try. So I think, I think I just Gundam backwards is Mad Nug. It is. I've uh, never seen Gundam. Yeah, I. I thought you were going to say I've never seen Mad. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a Mad Nug. Only very seen Nugs. Yeah. Uh, I've only seen the odd episode, so I can't really. I yeah. know uh, all the films are up on. Um, Netflix, well, so, so yeah, they're, they're sort of OVA. Uh, sort of like condensed versions of mm. some of the series, and they're they're not a bad way to watch it if you don't have the patience for like, you know, a seventies anime that's like fifty episodes. Uh, they're yeah. they're decent, but uh, you know, a lot of Gundam fans will say that like you are missing out a lot because yeah, kind of the point of the series is it feels like a war is going on because there is. Uh, and talking about a war, the, the Code Geass because. Um, there's sort of a war going on. Oh, can you just call me? Uh, <laughs> so I've seen season one, uh, as has Tom, I want to say, right? I've seen, yeah, all the original, I think there was a couple of seasons, wasn't oh, there? Oh, yeah, there's like but They recently two. got, uh, was it, rebooted? Yeah, there was like, I think, I want to say like four movies and no series that follows the movies, which is sort of a retelling. It's, yeah. Yeah, very good show. Um, I like the whole plot of it because it's a little bit mech anime, but a little bit like Death Note-y because um, Lelouch yeah. has the ability to suggest something to someone, so he's got to play it right and sort of work out, you know, it, it, it's very methodical. It's very, uh, you know, entertaining. Yeah, I've seen my fair share of chaoses, but not <laughs> cold chaos. <laughs> It definitely, um, for me, like, scratched that Death Note age mm. after I watched Death Note. Please, please don't scratch it. <laughs> uh, right, on to the next one. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but it's Fruits Basket, which is the popular kind of uh, ro- romance, I want to say, anime. I'm aware of it, but I've, I've not seen any Fruits Basket. I've not seen it, but I always see the manga in, like, the Warstones manga section. And I always think, oh, that looks boring. There's, I think there was a new manga out fairly recently. Because uh, this, this, it was very popular. Um, it's more aimed at girls, I think, because it's about... I want to say it's about a girl who goes to live um, like with a wealthy family and falls in love with a the guy there. And, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I genuinely, I don't remember much of it. I watched a few episodes and I was like, nah, that's ain't for me. Hmm. Fair. This isn't for me. Right. Well, <clears throat> next up is One Piece. I shall mark that because I have watched all of East Blue and I'm at the start of the Alabaster arc now. Uh, so that that is definitely more than a series. That's like 70-something episodes into it. Which is probably like 1% of One Piece. Uh, I did what? check. It brings me up to original Japanese airing of August 2001. So I don't I don't have far to go, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, only 22 uh, years. Yeah, exactly. But no, uh, I've not seen... I, I've definitely not, I've, I've seen like bits and bobs, but definitely not enough to, to mark it no. off. No. I heard... Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, no, I, I was no. just going to move on. No, I was... 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. On to the next one. This is one I'm guessing you guys haven't watched, which is Haikyuu, which is about No. Is it no. Is it that. basketball or netball? I can't I think it's netball is Haikyuu. Uh... Um I know people do genuinely say it's pretty hype. It, much like any sports anime. Um you know, I as long as you're into it. Confused and thought it was about <laughs> The poetry, oh. the five syllables, and then the seven syllables, and that, like, but uh, it's not at all. It's, yeah, it's volleyball. Right? Volley- there, there we are. Yeah, because I knew I did see one in this list. That's the, that's the basketball one. It was like, surely there's not two, were there? Yeah. So it's about volleyball. I mean, again, this is. I I don't know if it's aimed at girls, but there's lots of handsome men doing lots of sporty things. Uh, Only girls enjoy that. Well, well, exactly. Uh, <laughs> But no, that's uh, I, I've I've heard it's it's pretty good. I may watch it one day or read the manga. I don't know. Anyway, next uh, there's a really obscure one. I don't think any of us have heard of Cowboy. How do you pronounce it? Cowbibo or something? Cowbibo. Co- co- yeah. Uh, but yeah, mm. I think it goes at the saying. Definitely mark in that. Yeah, I think I... we all have, right? That's, that's a mark for everyone. No, yeah. No, no, what? it isn't for me. Oh. What? I only do you not I... think Cowboy Bebo. I've seen a good amount of it, but I never finished it. I don't know it's why. Like, I, it's Tom! Oh my... That, that is amazing. Yeah, that's my guiltiest one, I think. Uh, I Holy shit! Well, I mean, hey, you've exposed yourself to all of my viewership now, um, yeah. which if you if you discount all of us for watching the video, I think there's, like, Mark might watch here as well. Share yeah. Mark, if you happen to be watching this. <laughs> and even oh, Mark's friends. God. Mark oh. might be like, yo, check out, check out our friend Tom. Also, if um, if, if Mark's niece is, is watching, I'm sorry I swore earlier. Uh, I, I, I yeah, please, refrain from I that. Apologize. It's fine, the next one is going to make up for it. Yeah, there we are. Tom, have you seen the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya? <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Don't so, yeah, fucking like I, to me, I have also seen season one, two, and the movie. Uh, um, yeah, there was this. I watched oh, the TV spin off. Yeah, season I, I, I haven't watched, uh, was Did, it Disappearance of Ma- N- uh, Nagato? Nagato? Yeah, yeah, no, same. Yeah, which is Liberal Lee's one. But yeah, an abandoned series. What a crime, to be honest. I, the, the movie, though, to be honest, if it's going to go out on anything, The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya is. Incredible, like, yes, yeah, fantastic. Just... It looked visually amazing for the time as well. Yeah. Do we find her? Uh, well, who Those knows? You'll have to watch and find out. Okay, uh, right. Next one is another really obscure okay. one. Um, yeah, even Gear Lion, Evangelion. Uh, so, mm. obviously, yeah. Neon Genesis, even Uh, I mean, if you're watching this video and have not heard of that one, I, I'm impressed, yeah. honestly, actually. No, no, that one we're all taking, right? There's no yeah, surprise. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was, I was ready for another kickoff then. <laughs> no. um, and add a push, I guess. I'd allow the rebuild films, but you know. Uh, right. Next up is One Punch Man. I have seen yes. the first season of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. It is an I excellent. Found... Oh. I'm the only one. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm letting the team down now. I haven't seen One Punch Man. It is it's okay, Tim. So basically, good. it's about a guy. Who... <laughs> oh yeah, tell me, Dan. Tell me, what's it about? What's it about? Dan? So it, about? It, it, be, it begins. <laughs> it begins with this man, right? He has lots of hair, and he's he's a salary man. But then one oh. day, he comes across quite the conundrum where he sees a super put. No, um, but yeah. I just I need man. to know. I need to know one thing. How many punches would it take for him to defeat his enemy? I, well, I, I wish they would just like let you know that off the like get go, so I knew what I was what to expect. But well, technically you know, one punch, that, yeah. but. Uh... You know, maybe not always. Mm. Right, next up, uh, it, it's quite an interesting inclusion, is Ping Pong the Anime. Um, I've heard of it. I know it's genuinely beloved. I know that people who have seen Ping Pong do genuinely quite like it. I've never watched it. I've not read the manga. I'm sorry. It's, and I never knew Ping Pong on anime adaptation. Oh, man. No. Ping Pong the anime. So I, I've seen clips of it and stuff. Like, is it beautifully animated. It is... One well, of the all most... they got to animate like two sides of a screen and a line down the middle. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Uh, but no. Uh, it's, yeah, Ping Pong the anime. It's I think it's a hidden gem 
I might watch it one day. Right, next up is Nana. I can't tell you much about this. I don't. I don't know what Nana is. I, I, is no. uh, the way it's like capitalized. Is, is there an anagram for something? Does does it? Does I it sound I want to say it's either as like supernatural slice of life, or some or sort of like sort of an isekai, but not an isekai. I I don't know. Unfortunately, does it stand for no anime? No anime. <laughs> Apparently it's, it's a like some sort of... yeah. Oh. So... yeah. Oh, it's a shoujo manga. Okay, so kind of like Fruits Basket. It is more aimed at like the the Japanese female audience or whatever. It's probably yeah. romance or something. But hey, uh, I'm sure it's good. Maybe I don't know. I I, I don't think I'll ever watch it. Next right. up is Tegan Toppen Gurren Lagan, uh, which is uh, Studio Gainax is Love Letter to Mech. Gurren Lagann is, again, in my top five, easy. It's such a good series. Not seen that. I've it's, not seen it. Uh, I, I, I feel like this. definitely seen it. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it's it's peak, it, 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 to me, typifies mid-2000s anime culture of, like, around, like, 20, 2008, 2010 or something. If you were chatting online about anime, Gurren Lagann came up. Like, you know. Very, um... Very Western influenced. Mm. Uh, it obviously took influence from things like on Nickelodeon and stuff. Which is yeah, it's cool. it's it's an interesting combo of art style is slightly Western, and it's just a massive. It, it's it, you know references Get a Robo and sort of giant mech anime of the past, basically. Right, next up uh, is Demon Slayer, and I think only one of us can tick this box. And that is not me. I've I've not seen it yet. It's not me either. Is it you, Tom? It isn't me. Well, what? This must mean it's the other one. Yeah, it's me. Oh. It is me. It's me, oh. your boy. Your boy. Your boy. Yeah. I nice. mean, I-, I love it. The Adventures of Tanjiro. Yeah, that's the subtitle. Yeah. Tanjiro, that's the one. Tanjiro. Tanjiro. He's um basically uh, G- Jiro loves one color. Can you guess what it is? He he wears only tan colored clothes. Uh, I think that's, that's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I I will get round to watching it. Uh, Dan did invite me to see the second movie next week, but I I don't I don't think I have her in me to binge two seasons. Uh, of an anime in in a you week. may not survive. Oh, you can do it. I mean, I mean, I could you know, do it. Won't... I just don't think I'd enjoy it. <laughs> I I I think sort of like day four would be like I don't care. Tanjiro die. I hope this ends. <laughs> but no, I, I I've I've seen clips of how beautiful it is. It is a cool. It is. Set. Yeah, yeah. It's hella good. Next up, uh, I'm as, assuming maybe is a series none of us are going to have, which is your lie in April. Now. Nope. This is a series I usually got confused with Violet Evergarden because I remember seeing the trailer for this and getting the two mixed up. I think this is about a cute anime girl settling into like a countryside place, I think, and it's sort of more of a slow, you know, slow paced. One of those. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's good though. Right. Next up is something I can tell you is good, and that is Stein's Gate. What a series. Uh, I, I haven't seen it, but what's with what's with the semicolon? So that is a regular thing. So it's based on a visual novel, Stones Gate, and the company that makes them, I'm blanking on the name now, all of their visual novels have the semicolon. So there's like Chaos Child. Um, oh, what was the other one? But yeah, that, that it's kind of a... It's e- like Japan, a signature. Yeah, it's kind of Japan being cool because they use... Basically, it's a... Hunter X Hunter kind of thing. The X doesn't yeah, mean yeah, anything. Yeah. You don't even pronounce it. But it's know. it's a stylized semicolon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Tom, you've seen Steins Gate. Steins I have. Yeah. I've seen all of uh, all of Steins Gate. It Brown. is. Watched the films. I've watched the film that came after Steins Gate, but I haven't watched any of Zero or the Zero film. So, hmm. um, right. Next up, now, Ghost in the Shell. So, I'm willing to accept either the movie or any of the series, because there is standalone complex, which I've also seen. Uh, not the Scarlett Johansson movie. No, so, uh, it, it's be- <laughs> be- because it's it's not an anime. Uh, so even if, 
even if it only existed as one movie and the Scarlett Johansson thing, I'd only count the anime movie. I've only seen a couple of episodes, so I can't I can't take this one, unfortunately. It, it looks really good, but I never I carried on with it. I don't remember why. Damn. And, um, the Mark film Star, I've yeah. seen, the film I've seen, I've not attempted the... Okay, um... no, that, that's fine. So long as you've seen the film, I'm, I'm more than happy to accept that, because standalone complex is more of a kind of side story, you know, kind of thing. The tech master has decreed you may tick the box. Uh, Tom, have you seen Ghost <laughs> in the Shell? No, I haven't, I'm afraid. Uh, oh. Mark's going to murder me again. Uh, sorry, Mark. It is. Um, sorry, Mark's niece, uh, to be honest, you. Yeah. It's game yeah, it's all the swearing. It's been to go to home. Yeah. Uh, right, next up. Bed. Next up is something Tom's definitely watched and loves. Sword Art Online. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> I, 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 characters again. I, I don't like Sword Art Online. Oh, I, 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 tried, I, I tried watching it as well, and I just found them insufferable. I can't do it. I've it's, watched it's season bad. one and two. I, I, you watched the whole series? Fucking yeah. seasons. Well, oh, so, because, the, so the, um, admittedly, it's not a highly rated anime in my regard. It's it's fine. It, I kind of, I like the concept, basically. Like, oh, cool, oh, no, MMO. Yeah, the concept um, sounds great, but, but uh, the cool, not very well executed. The one thing I did like about it is that over two series, they have four games they go into, and they're not stuck in each one, obviously. Um, so it does kind of change up the theme. Like the second season starts with a first-person shooter game. It's like, ah, oh, that's cool. It um, kind of, I mean, even though I don't like it, it kind of started its sakayas in a big way, didn't it? So, yeah, it definitely kicked them off. I think. Is that a good thing? Well, uh, yes. Uh, seeing one of the follow-up ones we're going to talk about later, mm. I think that is a good thing. I don't hate the genre. I think sometimes mm. good stuff comes out of the genre. It's just a lot of it is seeing me. Uh, and yeah, I think Sword yeah. Art Online, if anything, because it was the first. It's kind mm. of well, not me, but it's just rubbish. I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. there were isekai before, but yeah, yeah I, I think as, yeah, this is what I think maybe inspired a lot of mangaka and like light novel authors to be like, wait, that's a great idea. And the last I've, one, oh, sorry, I was just gonna say I've noticed on this list um, that there's no. Stupidly long named anime is based off light novels. <laughs> well, so I think this is a, a mix lot of, them of like older have been, name. Yeah, a lot of them have been, well, um, not probably not as long as you're expecting, but some of them have been shortened for the sake of the list I've noticed. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, I have noticed one yeah. uh, that's been shortened. Yeah, so I take that back. Right. And the last one on row one, I don't assume is on anyone's, which is Yu Yu Hakusho. No. Nope. Uh, it is. I know it's a shown in anime. Uh, I know some of the characters are featured in like Jump Force and stuff. So I've, I'm aware of the characters. I've not watched it. Um, I want to say Yu Yu Hakusho was what the Hunter Hunter uh, mangaka worked on before Hunter Hunter. Uh, although you keep saying this, I assume no one's seen it. There is one on here that I reckon I've seen Ooh. and no one else has, and I'm very interested to see if any of you will. Okay. Pick up on it, right. Or so if we you can guess which one. We've all got. Right, we've all got one chance to guess, and if we guess it right, we get one more point. There we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and if no one guesses it, Tim gets the point. There you go. Okay, that makes I sense. like that. I like right. that. So we're going to take a quick break and calculate now, and we'll be right back. All right. So we've uh, gone and counted, uh, which did take uh, five hours. I'm not going to lie; none of us possess very good math skills. Um, yeah, but so we've come to the uh, our tallies. So I'll start myself and then go clockwise. We're not sat together. I don't know who would be next, but uh, so I have sixteen on the first row. Dan, nine. No, you've got to tell me a number, Dan. You can't just say no. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why you subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't, I don't blame you. Uh, right, Tom, how many do you have? I have ten. Ooh. Uh, and Tim? I I have four. Well, because I'm too cool for this fucking weep yeah. shit. You, I don't know what you guys are on about. So I forgot to say, but the winner of this will be officially crowned um, Chad of Imminent Tortoise. Uh, and the loser... Uh, what's the opposite of a crown? How do you uncrown someone? 
Oh. Uh, you you uh, scalp them. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, this Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. And they'll they'll be the imminent tortoise virgin. Oh no, I don't I don't want to get yeah. sound of that. No 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 no. Okay, we're we're yes, scrapping this. No, no 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 no. We're scrapping this. I don't I don't. Oh, I don't want that connotation. The, All right then. The, the imminent tortoise scalpy. There we are. There that sound. That, somehow that doesn't sound as bad. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay, so talking about chads, it's on to the series about chads until you get to uh, part four onwards. Then they they're kind of um, more boys. feminine looking, um, you know. Uh, and that is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, I have definitely watched all of the first five parts. Uh, I haven't I, started Stone Ocean yet. I don't know if I think I've seen a fair bit of the first season, but mm. no, I, I I don't think I've seen enough to to mark it. Ooh, I mean, after push, no, mm, no. Uh, unfortunately, season one of JoJo is part one and part two. Uh, but yeah, what what that makes sense? It? I forgot. It's it's um, um, well. So season one is uh, uh, is battle tendency and ah, uh, what, what's the the blood one? I can't remember part of ah. Uh, but Stardust Crusaders is part three. Phantom Blood. Phantom there Blood is part two. There you go. Uh, yeah, sorry, Tim. Uh, no, I, I think, unfortunately, series one does consist of two parts, which is weird. But There you go. That's a definite um, from me. I'm currently on Stardust Crusaders. It's been a bit... It's been a bit of a grind, <laughs> but I, I it, will get back to it. It is a bit of a grind. I will say, because Stardust Crusaders is quite long, but by the end, I think it's hype enough that it sort of makes it all worthwhile, if that makes sense. But yeah, it is a bit of a long one. Uh, talking about muscular large men as well, next up is uh, Medical Magica. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, have you, actually, have you, Tom? Have you? That's yeah, uh, yeah. interesting to me. Although I will say I haven't watched the movies at all. I just no, those. same. I I haven't got around to it, but I'll I'll definitely accept. You know, series one of Magical Magic is the classic. Uh, have you review two seen it? No, no, no. 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 I've heard of it. Fair enough. It is. You've heard of it. Have you spoken? No. To... It's 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 a dark, uh, magical girl anime, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, Very dark. Right, next up, I have played the mobile game, but I'm not going to give myself a point, which is Fate Stay Night. Or, well, Fate, any of the Fate series. Fate, Ilya, Prismia, or whatever. Yeah, Tom, that weird lolly, like... Tom, Tom we were just talking about Madoka Magica. Come on, though. I'm going to be a high boss now, Tom. <laughs> um, I... I I've seen Fate Stay Night, so hey, I'm there you go. this is the only the only thing of Fate I've seen, mm. and it was very mediocre. And I've heard other Fate series are a lot better, but I have sorry, seen. But it's, an, it's an impenetrable wall, isn't it, Fate? You can't... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yes and no. It's sort of from what I've heard. Um, some people are like right, you got to watch it in like this order, this then this movie, then this OVA, and other people like. Fuck you, man! Just dive in. Like you, you, you'll work out little bits of the world, and you know. Um, I've played Fate Grand Order, uh, the the mobile game. It's, it's pretty good. I like the story, but I'm not counting it. It's not an anime. Next up is an anime, and is Konosuba or Konosubarashi no? I can't remember the rest. Uh, but yeah, is the Isekai anime about those cute Peace. girls? Uh, I've seen season one and the movie. I haven't seen season two yet, but I I, I will. I'll get around to it. I've seen all of it, and it's a masterpiece. Um, This is why I said I don't like Isakai's. I Mm. do like Isakai's, rather. I don't dislike them, because Konosuba is a masterpiece. It's so funny. It's It's one of the funniest funniest animes I've ever seen, to be honest. And uh, third series in a row to have a notable, popular lolly in it. There you go. Um... (laughs) Right, next up is Revolutionary Girl Utena. So I know this is like held up as a really important and like historic anime. I've never seen it, but I've heard good things. Um Yeah, it's kind of a magical girl, but a sci-fi as well, maybe, or am I thinking of something else? 
Next up. Wow, you all just lost because I've Wait. seen all of Revolutionary Girl You Turn Up. Really? The movie. Shit. Oh, and okay. It's absolutely oh. fantastic, and you're Fuck. all missing out for not having seen Revolutionary Girl Wow. Turn up. Right. So, Tim, put two dots because you get an extra point there. An extra point for having right. seen Revolutionary Girl You Turn Up. It is absolutely fantastic, and it's Sweet. one of those ones that it is very revolutionary it's like it's 90s it's 90s that it was up it's probably one of the only ones on here that was an anime before it was a manga the anime came out and oh. then they translated it oh right that's that's new it's about this girl who goes to this school and kind of gets roped into this weird sword dueling tournament to win the this girl who has the power to like bring about a revolution which is very oh. mysterious it has these very, very over-the-top battles on top of the school where the the music that plays is just... The lyrics are absolutely absurd. It's like... It's it, it's like, oh, the darkness of Sodom and, oh, and all that. <laughs> and it's like these school kids having a sword battle on top of um, a school. Um, but yeah, it goes into a lot of deep shit. It goes mm. into a lot of... Um, it was very, very ahead of its time, I would say. And uh, yeah, it's it. I highly recommend it. It is. Nice. It is. It, it's kind of sci-fi, and it's very kind of. It has a lot of abstract elements, and I think the character in it, Nanami, um, is is the archetype of the oh, oh. anime girl. Well, no, and no. She, she is like the the perfect example of that type of anime girl. Well, no, no you've no, you've pushed this series up on my list. I wasn't. Oh, oh. and uh, she turned yeah. into a cow in one of the episodes. Oh. Okay, well, I, uh, yeah. You can leave it at that. It's yeah. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've heard good things. I will I will eventually watch it. Next up, I've never heard of Kare Kano. No, nope, never heard of that one either. It looks like a show with Joe. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks like, I can't confirm that. Well, I, I think it goes to the same. None of us have seen it. I, I don't think no, we wait, need no. to... Guess who was directed by? Hideki Anno, even Gallion. Yes! Wait, what? Yes! Hang on, whoa, yes! wait, what? Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> holy, yes! holy, on, what the hell? Come wait, on, yeah. have I secretly seen Kare Kano and I just don't know? Yeah, oh, God! Your power level. Wait, is this Rick's like... actually seen every single anime on this list. <laughs> He's just like, oh, I don't want to seem like too much of a chance. Actually, secretly, I've been Wolf Borg this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I like... I oh. like how you said that, as if it was like some outside, you know, well, joke. Like, oh, there's no way you. Do well, a I mean, I know Arno has directed a lot, but he directs sort of like slightly depressing kind of stuff. So I, oh, wow, uh, wow, Bullshit. okay, <laughs> well done. Um, right. Next up is Hajime no Ippo, which is the boxing anime, and I have seen a season of this. Oh. As it turns out, I saw season three, because Crunchyroll is terrible for that. I started watching it, because uh, Hajime no Ippo is, again, a very historic um, anime. It's about Ippo. Uh, he's he's a boxer. It's a bit like anime Rocky, basically. Uh, and it's very fun. It's like a sports anime. Everything's a bit exaggerated. And I started watching it on Crunchyroll, and it's like, he knows a lot of guys are just like not picking up the backstory of. It's like, are they telling it later on? And I looked her up later. It's like, oh, this is season three that came out in 2003. The original came out in 1990. Um, it is all on Netflix, though. Uh, it is. I am going to watch it from the start again. But I did watch all of season three. It's brilliant. Uh, 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 Weight of My Pride, I think, is the song, is like the, the anthem of the anime. It is, oh, it's so good. Anyway, um, I'm guessing no one else has seen it. No. Uh, no. All right. Next up is some Bishy Boys. It is Oren Host Club, which I have seen. Uh, hey, I'm surprised. Yeah, Tom. I fe- I swear we watched a little bit together, did we not? I I, I might watch a few episodes. Oh, okay. Well, and so I did. Def- Tom watching I, some Bishy Boys together. I, I watched, see how it is. I watched all of this in my university anime club. Um, and so on the out. On the outside, it is a sort of it's it's an anime about a host club, uh, hosted by handsome men. 
and and a girl starts working there, but she dresses as a boy, obviously. Um, and it does it does sort of seem a little bit like a yaoi anime, but after like two or three episodes, you start realizing it's kind of a parody of a yaoi anime. Uh, it's yeah. it is it is very funny. It sort of it plays into the tropes, but sort of I mean. It's very. Po- it was very popular with the Yowie fangirls as well at the time, obviously, because ironic Yowie is still Yowie. Um, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. But genuinely, I really enjoyed Orin Horse Club. I have it on DVD. It's um, it, it's it's just a lot of fun. It's hilarious in parts. Next up is Helsing. Now. I think we watched most of Helsing in the anime club in school, Tom, but I can't remember if I ever saw all of it. I'm pretty sure we saw the... Did we see all the original? And yeah. And we might have watched Ultimate. I Yes, um, no, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, so I, I will give myself a point here. Was, was, uh, I might have dropped in for one or two, but I, I no, I don't. I, I, I remember seeing a couple of episodes that might have been where, because I came to, like, mm. two of Club in school, but um, no, I, I don't remember much of it to say that I've seen the entire series. Um, this is an anime where I would suggest people deliberately go out of their way and watch it dubbed. Uh, the dub is a, very good, yeah. It's phenomenal. It, it's so... Um, it's ridiculous, in a way, because of the voice acting is very British. Very good, yeah. yeah. Um... Um, yeah, it's have, fantastic. Have you I seen Helsing, Dan? Well, I watched the I watched bits of the original, and mm. I the thing is, I have been watching Ultimate, but I haven't finished it yet, so I can't give myself a ah. point. I think so. It's, okay, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I appreciate. That was it was never finished, was it? No. Oh, it, yeah. Oh well, Remember unless it was years word. later, but. I remember at one point there was an episode coming out every couple of years type of thing, like Evangelion uh, mm. Rebuild, you know, it's, mm. yeah, it's like that. I don't know if you're ever finished. I, I definitely watched all of Ultimate that was out at the time when mm. I was watching it. So, and I watched all the original anyway, so it's a new point, but yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm. You know what, Dan? I'll award you the point. You're going to watch the rest of Ultimate soon. And you you watch some of the original. I I'm going to be charitable. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 I mean, yeah, you, you're in the process. You're in the process okay. of watching it. I doubt you're going to be like, oh, I've watched a few episodes. I'm not going to watch any more now. Ha <laughs> ha. And okay. it, but if you do, uh, we will have to re-record this, and you will have to apologise um, yeah. to the audience. <laughs> right. Next one, Anohana. I've heard of it. I don't know much about it. I think again, it's maybe a shoujo kind of slice of life thing. I think. I've never heard of it. Um, so oh, yeah, definitely hang, not on. hang on, I I swear that rings a bell. I I was under the impression you saw you watched that. No. So, oh, <laughs> who are you talking to, Tom? Red, I assume. It's oh, it's not a um, no, it's not a uh, it's not a show shoujo. It's uh, oh. it's like it's like about I I've heard this because it's quite acclaimed like quite hmm. critically acclaimed um it's about a bunch of kids like growing up i think yeah oh. it's like a coming of age story i think i confused this with something else and i thought you'd seen it Brent, ah. but i think you've seen something that's quite similar i think orange like, uh I because in the poster you see one of the kids isn't there uh, when they grow up, so oh, yeah. oh, definitely, think, uh, definitely similar I, to Orange. Then, yeah, that's. I think uh, I think that's it. Kind of centers around that as a plot. Ah, um, but, okay. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, next up, no, Tim. I I feel like you may have watched a little bit of this Inuyasha. Now I know about Inuyasha because I had an RP girlfriend in my twelve-year-old uh, um, forum days. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a single episode. No. <laughs> I, I I know it was definitely because I know you uh, and friend of the channel Glyn. I know you, you both mentioned like watching, like Naruto early on on like YouTube in parts, and I know it seemed like you you were friends with 
who people who liked Inuyasha. So I was like, yeah, maybe. He's yeah, there. I've been meaning to. I know it's on. I know it's on uh, Netflix right now. It's on no. I, um, a few a few shows. That was it ITVX for some reason. Oh they... yeah yeah yeah. Wow. Okay. ITVX seems to have exactly the same anime as Netflix, though, which is yeah, a bit strange. Yeah, it's like it's on Netflix as well, isn't it? Any mm. Yeah, it's like check this, check all this anime we have, and I'm like, uh, oh, oh, oh. It's literally what's That's on weird. Netflix. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, next up, there's this a really obscure movie, so you might have heard of it called Spirited Away. Now I've seen the movie, but I haven't seen the series. <laughs> no, uh, no faces yeah, adventures well. in the spa. <laughs> uh, no. uh, Spirited yeah. Away is a classic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. It's one yeah. of those ones that it seems like it's overrated, but it's overrated for the right. It's not overrated. Mm. It is actually that good. Yeah. Can't... Okay. I'm going to say that I've not seen it. You well not seen Spirited Away. It, it, all, okay. All I've the seen... Ghibli films are on Netflix, which is good. So yeah. Yes. I've okay. I've seen Howl's Moving Castles. I've seen Princess. Uh, well, I, well, 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 we, Howl's Moving Castles. We might. Yes, we might be. We might be covering. We might be covering some moving of that later, cast. Dan. So c- c- Howl's c- Moving Castles. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> So keep what you have seen until later, Dan, because they may be in here. I, I haven't seen the list, but... Okay. I can tell you for definite that Howl's Moving Castles is not on the <laughs> list. Uh, Tom, have you seen Spirited Away? I have, yes. Hey. Yeah. Nice. More recently than you guys probably have, though. Uh, okay. It's a lot more recent for me watching that. Watching but, yeah, very good. Yeah. Right, next up is Natsume, which... I, I, I think I've heard of. I mean, from the name is something about summer, summer holidays, summer life. Natsu, obviously. Uh, no, Natsu me. I think is summer, right? In Japanese, because Natsu is sun. I'll believe on you. Natsu me is book of friends. Is that what? Yeah, they're... probably. It's I think another show with Joe. Uh, yeah, it, I, I, do you know that might be what I was thinking when I saw Anohana. It, it might be Natsu me. I was thinking of. But yeah, I'm I'm sure it's good. I I've never seen it. Something I have seen, My Hero Academia. I haven't watched season five yet, uh, but I have seen season four and three of the movies. So uh, it is it is probably one of my favourite shonen. One of. Um, I've not seen it. Uh, Are Tom, you follow up to that? <laughs> Tom, no. you've seen um, you've seen Froppy. So that you know, that... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I haven't seen it. Uh, I, I fall by getting into it, but I'm really put off by Shonen. It, uh, I, I will uh, say because there's so much of a commitment. But I, I will really... say one yeah, go on. good thing about uh, my hero, and basically a lot of modern Shonen, there is very little to any like actual filler anymore because um, they they stick to a 24 episode kind of series thing. Even Bleach now. Um, is sort of sticking to that format that they could put filler in, but it would make no sense, and they'd have to cram things into episodes. So now I didn't think My Hero Academia was an anime. I thought it was a Fortnite thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it it spawned from Fortnite, like um, oh, okay, okay. Like, it's based on Fortnite, right? Like you know how Goku appeared in uh, in Fortnite, and then they were like, we should make an anime on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nimbus clouds. That's a great idea. Uh, um, right. I quite. I quite like. You know the characters seem quite likable in it, hmm. uh, a lot more so than a lot of shonen. If anything, it's actually a series Ooh, I kind of find it. myself kind of wishing there was a bit more filler because some of the characters genuinely are like great, but it's like you don't see much of them. That wh- wh- where have they been this whole season? And like you kind of just hoping like maybe they could have like an episode or two where they just chill. Um. Next up is a series I'm very interested in watching. I've just never got round to watching, which is Serial Experiment Lane. Serial Experiments Lane, sorry. Uh, and you nope. watched it? It is no. massively, it. It's massively depressing. Um, mm. Very, like, cyber... It's not cyberpunk, but it's, like... Uh, it, it's, it's close. It's, you know... Wait, no. No, I think it might be cyberpunk. I don't know. But it's about a girl who gets depressed and spends time online. <laughs> oh, no. That's a good synopsis. <laughs> uh, right. Next up is Food Wars. Uh, I've what's, seen clips. What's that actually about? So it, uh, I, it is I, uh, It is literally, it's a. It's kind of a shonen cooking anime. So it's about chefs, right. but they have cook-offs and things. So, like, 
you know, they'll be like cooking and it's like, oh, we've got to, you know, like win this cooking tournament, but it's over the top. So it's like, I summon the the power of fire to singe this stick and sort of. In my head, it was literally people throwing food at each other in a cafeteria. (laughs) So I'm a little bit disappointed to hear that. I've not yet seen that. It does look really good. It does like, yeah. Is is that the one Dave Grohl is in? Because he was a food fighter, wasn't he? Uh... Yeah. Sorry. Uh, right, ne- next up, um, this is one I'm actually going to judge people for. <laughs> uh, next up I, is... I, I, I to God, no one's got the next one, too. Next up is Beast Stars. Now, I've seen statues of Beast Stars go up for pre-order, and I've seen, like... Uh, like a, and you've pre-ordered them? Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> look, if if anyone here has watched Beast Stars and they want to tell me away from the video... That's there fine. A There's a certain type of person you might be if you enjoy this. I'm not saying what that type of person might no. be. And, but... and I, I don't want to publicly shame or be negative towards the furries because they may make up oh, part... No one said that word. They, they, no one said that They may make part of my viewership and I, I, can't, I can't deal with losing anyone right now. No, no, so no so you're, you're welcome. No I just... I don't, I don't want to see topless wolf boys. Sorry. Think about this one. A lot of um, like, I think uh, Gigguk said he really liked it. Uh, like a lot of big anime YouTubers wow. said it's really good. I'll... Uh, no, I haven't watched it though. I'll, I'll take the word for it on that one. Uh, yeah. Ooh, right. Next up is Durarara, uh, which I've seen the first season of. I've not got around to the second season, but Durarara is fucking fantastic. Uh, I've not seen it. I've not seen it. I'm guessing you guys haven't. Seen it? No, no. It's the one with the. It's the one with the. Salty. Like, yeah. 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 So r- roughly speaking, it's about gangs in Ikebukurocho, um, in Tokyo, basically. Sort of. It 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 is hard to explain. It's full of. It's filled with like weird supernatural paranormal stuff, but it's also like about youth gangs, a bit like the Warriors, but anime, obviously, and not as violent. Uh, and Durarara yes. comes from the main gang, the Dollars, or if you pronounce it in Japanese, Duraras. Durarara. Wait, so it's based in Tokyo? I thought it might be based in Rio, because didn't Durarara sing the song, Rio? Durarara. Oh, oh, that took me a second. Shit, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so I sure. thought it was, I was thinking something else. It's not, uh, the one I was thinking of was Doro Hador. No, 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 that's Durar. That's that, that's a different anime because the yeah. words are different. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but in my head, in... I was like, oh, is that what I was thinking? No. <laughs> right. Brilliant. Next Brilliant. up, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. Well, I I haven't seen it. Maybe you guys have. Is Rironi R- Kenshin? No, never heard of it. Um, yeah. So it's. I know. So he features in a few jump fighting games as well. I know he's. He's a samurai who's got, like, ginger hair, and he only fights with the blunt end of his katana. So he never mm-hmm. fights to kill, he only fights to, like, incapacitate. And the villain, so I don't know anything about the series, I haven't watched it or read it, but the villain is, like, proto-Naruto, because he's, like, covered in bandages, and he wears, like, a big purple cloak and stuff. And it's like, oh. yo, this is, this is early <laughs> Naruto, man. Apparently, it's um, it's not based in a fictional saying. Mm. It's based in Meiji yes, restoration it's, era Japan. It's based on Kenshin, someone who was a, a samurai at the time. That yeah, he, he... Kenshin Impact, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tono Kenshin Im... There's no tie. Uh, next up is Kill La Kill, which I have seen. Uh, is I've heard good things. So... Now, I've. I had Kill the Kill on for the first season. Uh, I watched it with my ex, but I was asleep for a lot of it. So ah. uh, I, I'm, I don't think I don't I don't think, like we, we binged it, but hmm. yeah, I don't remember it very much. I don't remember how much I don't know how much I don't remember because I didn't yeah I get you. like it or because I wasn't awake for it. But yeah, it seemed a bit boring to me. It's um it's sort of essentially the way i describe kill a kill is it's gurren lagan but about dragon ball instead of mech oh well no it's it's gurren lagan but for shonen anime basically did you like it uh yeah i i really like kill a kill it's um 
it's it, it sort of it builds in the same way as Gurren Lagan. It starts off a little bit small and by the end is just mental, like, uh, sort of battles and stuff. Killer Kill is the same. It starts off kind of small, but near the end is sort of, you know, over the top shown and stuff. Uh, and the main girl in it doesn't wear many clothes. So, bonus points. You've not seen Killer Kill, no, Tom? No, I've um, only seen a few. In ones. the next one, I though. couldn't get into it. Uh, yeah, I mean, Tom's definitely seen the next one, and that is Miss Kobayashi's oh, we're getting... Dragon Maid. We're getting into the trash now. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I... Uh, no, I love it. I love it. I've, I've only seen... seen season one. Yeah, same. I've only seen season one, uh, and I think they did release like an OVA or two. I think between. I've seen those, but yeah. How old are the uh, carcass and? Uh, several hundred years old. Uh, oh, actually, as, yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't actually, look it. They don't look my 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 favorite is Lukoa, who is based on Quetzalcoatl, who is my favorite Mesopotamian god. Also, oh, my favorite the... summon in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, yeah, there we are. Uh, except the one in Final Fantasy VIII doesn't have massive boobs and lives with a young boy. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> next up is a classic, Akira. Uh, the movie. I haven't seen the yeah. series. <laughs> now, this is my hot take. I've seen, I've, I've seen Akira. I, I think it's overrated. It's good. It, it's not amazing. It's all right. I, think, I prefer Perfect Blue. I think having watched, because I've watched Akira a few times now. I, I also, uh, just to say, went to the cinema a few years ago when they released the 4K version in the cinema. Oh wow! Uh, I will say with with like cinema speakers as well it is a next level experience yeah i think akira i i really like it i will say i think it is somewhat more enjoyable for presentation than it is for the movie itself if that makes sense yeah visually, visually, yeah the, the plot is the plot is yeah. fine it's decent there's but, barely any plot like it's not a yeah. lot of plot there is there no um i will say so um a, a family member has read the manga and he has said the manga is like if you're interested in the plot is like 100 times better because it's like it's more fleshed out there's more going on and like he was saying that if you watch the movie it's almost like a companion to the manga because there's a lot they don't mention that if you've read the manga you're like oh yo that's this place with this you know and she got a copy of the first manga so i need to actually read mm. it but um going to upset Mark again. You've not uh, seen Akira. What? You've not seen it? Oh, oh okay. Tom, I where... my, my, my spicy take was that I didn't like it that much, but you haven't even seen it. I, I think oh. I think we may have to have a classic anime movie night. I think. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like I haven't watched, like, kind of, you know, some of the the big, like, the... Well, yeah. I don't think we can have like a classic anime movie night because we need to watch the entirety of Cowboy Bebop for someone. <laughs> in the fucking Ooh, okay, right, right. Let's move on before this full blood starts getting drawn. Ore Gairu. I've again, I've heard the series mentioned. I couldn't tell you anything about it. No. Um, uh, he's that monkey Pokemon, isn't he? Uh, hey. I'm guessing you guys haven't seen Ore Gairu either. I've never heard of it. No. no, okay. No. Right, next one. I've definitely watched you. Oh, you were on ice. Oh. More like yeah, we are nice. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've I've not watched you on ice. Uh, no. Have Have either. you guys watched? No. No. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. It's as Tim said. It's yeah, we are nice. It's it's handsome boys. Misleading title. Falling in love. Um. And you know, hey, if if you're into that, more power to you. I. I know there was a bit of a meme years ago where Euro on Ice won, I think it was like four of the eight Crunchyroll Awards and oh. sort of the jokes were the next year, like, best shown in anime is Yuri on Ice. And that was... Um, the last of us of the anime, I don't know what. Yeah, basically. And the last one of this row, which is FLCL, or Fooly Cooly, which I have seen the first season of quite recently, actually. Uh, embarrassingly. I know it is a classic... I've only seen season one. I am aware the season two and three, and I think four and five are in the works or something. I think, from what I've heard, season one of FLCL is great. Two and three are fine. They're okay. I've not seen it. Tom, have you seen Fooly Cooly? 
I only saw a few of them, so I can't. I will them. say, FLCL is a lot. It is six episodes, or is it eight episodes? I can't remember. It is incredibly fast paced um, and hard to follow. Uh, kind of, it's it feels. It feels, I know this is going to be a weird sentence, it feels like a grunge anime. Like, oh, well, based on a manga, obviously, but it feels really like they're doing it their own way, and it's like, it's it's wild. And the soundtrack by The Pillows, if if you do nothing else, listen to FLCL Volume 1 by The Pillows. It's Don't so sleep good. on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, basically, they're a Japanese grunge band as well, and... But they're like a light grunge band, if that makes sense. It's sort of, it's, yeah, it's FLCL is so good. It's so good. Um, right, yet again, we're going to go off now and calculate how many we've seen uh, for the midway point. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. So we've calculated our second column. We are 50% of the way through now. Uh, so an update, I had 16 last time, I'm up to 29 now, so uh, a, li- a little bit weaker in column 2 for me, but, you know. Uh, Dan? Ugh, 12. It's, uh, okay, it, that, that's both column 1 and 2, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Tim? Uh, 8, with my bonus point for no one guessing that I'd seen <laughs> the entirety of Revolutionary Girl Lieutenant, so 7... But eight for the context I'll, of this video. We'll count it for eight. It's fine. Uh, and Tom? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, right. Well. That's the age of the girls in Dragon Maid, isn't it? Oh, hey, <laughs> no. Actually, no, that's Tim, generous. That's possibly, yeah. Generous. Yeah, come on, no. <laughs> in, in, fairness, in fairness, it's like one one of the dragons. Yeah, I, I think... I think, uh, I think my answer might be a bit more akin to the uh, age of those girls. Eight. <laughs> No, to be fair, Luko is definitely not a teenager. She is a uh, full-grown yeah, woman. In, no. uh... Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's the oh, old one. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, Kana is the um, uh, the, the the shorter one. Uh, that's the nice mm. way of saying that, Lolly. Uh, yeah, right. 